as theatres reopen, one show bringing the razzle-dazzle back to the West End is Hairspray. Yes, joining us uh, on the couch from the uh, Star Study cast, one of Britain's best loved entertainers. So glad. Legend, you're with us. Les Dennis, how are you? Good morning, you two. Oh, it's morning, so lovely Les. to be here instead of going down Zoom to see you guys. Do you know yeah. what? It's lovely having guests Isn't back it? in the is studio. It, yeah, it really is. Be, yeah. And you're looking lovely. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, Miss I'm very you. good. Very good. It's so exciting. Hairspray. Oh. I've seen it. It's such a long time ago since I've seen it. But it's I, a lovely show. I, I was gutted because you wasn't in it when I was no. when I came to see it. So the fact that you're going to be playing yeah. uh, Wilbur. It's Wilbur, isn't it, you're Wilbur playing? Wilbur Turnblad, yeah. He's um, Tracy's dad and... Edna's husband, and he's a, a loving father and husband, and uh, it's just a, such a great fun show, and and I think more relevant now than it ever it really has been. Really, well, isn't it? Sort of two people at home that haven't watched Hairspray or aren't aware of it. Can you explain explain the, the plot to us? Yeah. The, the... Well, Tracy Turnblad, who you see there, um, she's a, a, a teenager in Baltimore in America. She wants to go on this um, local TV show, which is a dance show, the Corny Collins Show. Because she can dance. Because she can dance. This is what, in the 60s? In the 60s, 1962. Um, and at a time of racial segregation. So, and the, the black kids are only allowed to dance one day a month yeah. on that show. And she is, as well as being a fantastic dancer, she's an activist. You know, she really wants to have this show integrated. And it's, it's about her journey and how her, her parents, Edna, played by the wonderful Michael oh, Ball. Oh, he's mate. amazing. Our mate Michael, he's just fantastic yeah. as Edna. Um, and I play um, uh, the father, uh, Will Barrett. And it's it's just a joy. It's a joyous musical. All the songs are so lovely and, and, and uplifting. And at the end of the night, the ovation we get is incredible. Michael has to stand there and eventually tell them to stop. I mean, otherwise, <laughs> we'd have been still there from the opening night. Nice. The, the ovation, it lifted the, the roof of the London Coliseum. I just think so many playing. people are just so happy to be back, though, yes, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just desperate to be Absolutely. back in the theatre. Absolutely. And getting that live entertainment. Yeah. What's it like being back with your chum? Because I know you've worked... Um, with each other before. Yeah. What's it like being back with Michael? It's... I mean, you're so lucky you get to kiss him every single <laughs> eight night. Eight times a week. <laughs> yeah, Michael and I um, get to kiss eight times a week, and it, it's great. We, I, I, I did the show on tour with Michael 12 years ago. Um, so to get back into... Um, Parts that we uh, we are familiar no no, but to be doing it on the the West End stage is just incredible. We have that uh, you just showed a, a, a still there of the um, timeless to me song that Michael and I Edna and mm -hmm. Wilbur sing together, which is just a joy to do every night. When you've done a part like that a while ago and you, you get back into rehearsals, yeah. does it come back quite quickly? Or um, like the, is the muscle memory that's still like... The muscle memory is there, funnily enough. You know, you, you can, I'm not the best dancer in the world, but it started to come back a lot quicker than I expected. And we had only three weeks to rehearse this, and I have to say the ensemble and the, and the cast have done an amazing job in that time, and, and our creatives have... Been amazing. And what's it like for you as an actor being back on the stage? Oh, it's just lovely. Must be wonderful. It's huh? lovely to get that connection, you know, to to, to have that um, reaction from an audience is just fantastic for us all. It's what we it's what we do it for. Yeah. You have got some youngsters in this show as well, yeah. isn't it? Sometimes yeah. this, it's their first time being on stage. Yeah. How have they them, found some it? Some of them, um, it's their yeah, it's their debut. Yeah. They're they're doing phenomenally well. Yeah. And with all yeah, the Lizzie restrictions plays, and everything, it must be so... is amazing. Is she? Great, amazing. Yeah. We've got Rita Simons in the show from, from EastEnders, yeah. you know, known uh, from as Roxy. Uh, Marisha Wallace as well. Marisha Wallace is amazing as, as Motormouth and um, she, she gets, gets a standing, a standing yeah. ovation within the show every night. She stops the show. Is this up there with one of your favourite productions you've... you've it, it is, it is absolutely. And, you know, and as I say, because it's... Because of Black Lives Matter, because of, you know, the whole thing about body shaming, you know, it, it's more relevant so now relevant. than it ever was. Well, just the climate we're living in in terms of the conversation it sparks, if nothing else, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. People being aware of it. It's, yeah. it's interesting that something written so long ago is yeah. uh, still, still so pertinent. John Waters was a genius. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So what else are you doing then? Because you're a very busy man, aren't you? Well, I'm staying in this theatre when the show finishes. I'm, you're so glad well, to be back now. Like. I'm, I, may as well, I may as well just um, put my, my bed in the dressing room at the, <laughs> at the London Coliseum, cos I'm doing, um, for the English National Opera, uh, I'm playing Sir Joseph Porter in um, Gilbert and Sullivan's um, HMS. HMS Pinafore, 
which is going to be incredible. It's my, my opera debut, so... So, what, to go back I didn't even know so you would sing you, opera. Have you always sung? I've always sung... Um, yeah, I've done, I've done 15 musicals, but people don't realise that, you know, that it's on my um, list of, of yeah. things I can do. But, um, but I've never done opera before. But having said that, Sir Joseph Porter, it's the, it's the patter song within the show. But I'm there with... I had to go in with the other guys, the other opera singers the other week and do a sound check. Because when it comes to that, we won't be mic'd. Even in a... It's a theatre that's got 2,300 people. You're not mic'd at all? Well, it's... It, it's they, they, I think they have float mics, but we don't actually have personal right. mics for So you for literally opera. have to belt that out? We have to belt it out, yeah. Oh, and, can um, you give us you're a, you're, you know, you're a legendary entertainer. <laughs> What's it like when you, you turn up with the E&O and, you're, you're, and you're, you're turning up on the first day with all these other well, like, opera singers? Well, you know, there's a little bit of nerves, you know, uh, imposter syndrome, thinking, you know, <laughs> can I do this? But, you know, I, when I went for the audition, Cal McChrystal, who's directing it, um, wanted me, and um, I went and missed, uh, met Chris Hopkins, the conductor, mm -hmm. and Michelle Williams, who was the casting director. And it's the only time I've ever got a job in the room. You usually wait for three, four weeks for the phone to ring. And, yeah. you know, when it's your wife, you're going, I, I wanted it to be my agent. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, to get the, the job in the room was... What, they literally you know, said you've got they it? They said, yeah, we, we want you to do this. Well, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Do and that was before lockdown. So I've had that job before I got hairspray. Right, OK. Yeah. You know how you do impressions and stuff like yeah. that? Do you think that helps you? I think, you know, well, Wilbur is, is American Baltimore and then I've got to do received pronunciation, you know, the, I'm playing the, the ruler of the Queen's Navy, you know, he's a, quite yeah. a posh guy, so, yeah, I've got to be able to... And how <laughs> wonderful at your career now to be... You just It feels like you're able to pick and choose these roles yeah, and do something fantastic. serious and a crime drama yeah. and then, you know, do comedy I mean, stuff. I mean, and... At the age of 67, I, you know, I... I my biggest achievement is still being here because it's it's a long run, you know. It's a it's a career that can have its ups and downs and has, but you yeah. know, I'm still here. Well, you don't retire still it; here. it retires you, you right? So yeah, exactly. Sixty-seven. You're looking 60. good. <laughs> you look amazing. Oh, well, Hairspray is at London's Coliseum. Leslie's going to be there. Michael yeah. Ball. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us. Yeah, so thanks, lovely Les. to see lovely you guys. Lovely to see you again. Have a chat. Thank Definitely. you. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant.